Hello folks, welcome to video number five of the Series 3 Land Rover Fix-Up. I'm calling it Fix-Up. Restoration is a strong word. I'm certainly taking it apart, but uh, don't I. You judge the standard of the work going on here. <laughs> Right, here's the chassis again. I just put the last coat on. It's looking glossy on the front and slightly less so on the back where it was painted six months ago. But it's done. And today we get on with the axle. The best thing, get it outside and pressure wash it. I've just realised I'm being a terrible videographer, a terrible YouTuber. I've just been cracking on with it, getting my, uh, getting my head into it and getting stuck in and completely forgotten to video any of it. So here's a part dismantled axle for you. Here it is on the bench. My god, it weighs a friggin' ton. This thing is heavy. The pressure washer did nothing. I mean, it can't touch this gunk. The, you know, it's a powerful thing, the pressure washer, but it's, yeah, just, it just laughs at it. So, whatever, I'll scrape it off later or angle grind it or something. So, I've got the lock and wheel hubs off. They're down here in pieces. I don't know if I went about it the right way, but I ended the screws and pulled the, uh, the rotating end that you turn by hand. I pulled that off, and then you can access the nut. So I think that's the only way of doing it. Then you take the six bolts out that translate the drive to this, which is the, uh, the drive flange. And uh, off that came. Then it's the bearings. So you hammer this little tab flat here and uh, whip these huge nuts off. There's the nuts here. There we go. So there's a tab there. You can see I've hammered away at it. Uh, and flatten it out so I can get the outer nut off. That locks the inner nut, and then the bearings come out. Come on, get out of there, you! Uh, got it. More bearing, and then the surface. Let's get it off. Let's get it off. Uh, hey, there we go. The bearings are contained in the back by the seal. And oh yes, look at it. It's a beauty. Yeah, can I get some light on it? There we go. That bearing surface is lovely. No dramas there. Got the other side apart now. This one is SKF, this one was Timken, so that's three out of four wheel bearings for Timken. So I'm guessing that one was replaced at some point. Who knows? Oh, what's this? Oh yeah! I am going to drive that bad boy in. <laughs> this must be the cake stand part of the axle. Right, I think it's time for a time lapse. This has got time lapse written all over it. That was a good cake, a um, cornflake cake. Mm. Oh yeah, I better get on with some work again. All stripped. There is so many parts in this thing. Uh, I've come to the point now where I'm going to clean bits up. I'm going to clean this large bucket shaped thingamajig, clean the stub axle, clean the back plate. I'll be reusing the drums are in spec and the hubs. And on this side, I'm also going to clean that up. It's a bit crusty. Uh, that's it. The rest of this crap is being renewed, which is lovely. New seals and bearings where they're needed and things like that. Now, I've come to an issue. This side uh, had a hub that behaved itself. All three of the retaining screws came out. The other side, naughty, naughty, two of them did not come out. So this one I've just got out with a welder. And I'm trying to show you the screws that come out of there. Here they are, yeah. These little buggers. They're, they're crap. These things are crap. They're crap, Land Rover. God damn it, why did you fit them? So they uh, hold the drum to this. Firstly, you don't need to do that. There's five massive, hulking great wheel studs that do that job for you. Secondly, fine, have one if you like. Two, maybe. But why three, for God's sake? And thirdly, why don't you make them a bit better than this? This is for a flat screwdriver. And they just tear them apart and wank. So only one came out on this side. There's my little rant done. The other two, I drilled them out to get the drum off and continued disassembly. So this is what it looks like once it's been drilled out. Uh, there you go. So the drum came off, but I've still got to extract it. So you can see here, this one's got some blast marks around it from the welder and a bit of angle grinding marks as well. I'll show you how I did that. I just got hold of a crappy little nut, which hopefully is cooled down here. There we go, and uh, I weld that onto the um, 
onto what's left of the screw in the in the hub, and uh, out it comes. to the hub as well this time. Yeah there we go, the weld that attached to the hub is broken free and the weld that has grabbed what was left of the screw is uh, has stuck. So it's coming out! I first did this probably 15 years ago when I first got hold of a welder on a Ford SX V6 cylinder head. I was trying to get an exhaust stud out that had broken off. And I did, but <laughs> I welded a screwdriver to it and it worked a charm because I had loads of leverage. Uh, but of course I turned it like half a turn and it caught on something else. So I had to cut it off, change the angle. So you've got to think about how it's going to go when you turn it around. There you go, hopefully you can see that. That's the original bolt that I've welded on and that's the bit that was stuck behind. So as I say, it's basically it's the heat that does it. And you can see there's only a little bit of weld gripping the top of the, um, uh, the, top of the screw, but it worked. There we go, that's now ready for cleaning, all three are out. Whee! Right, they're cleaned up. That's the left side. No, so that's the right, that's the left side. Some arms and things and some plates that go on the bottom of the springs. The axles had all the crap removed as well. I'm going to clean it down now um, and get it ready for painting. I'm really pleased to say that the angle grinding is over. I hate that machine. God, I hate it. I mean, I like what it facilitates, but look at the mess it's made. Whoa, it's horrific. Oh, it's disgusting. But anyway, it's done. I've done my first coat and I'm about to put the second coat on. That'll be it for these parts. There we are folks, all painted, got the second coat. I've actually got to turn a few of these items over and paint the back as well. These uh, spring clamp plate jobbers, they need to, the other side painting. So does the axle, it needs its top half painting because it's currently upside down. The steering arms and the brake back plates, but, uh, oh and the hubs as well. But the drums, they're done. Those little stub axles are done. And these, whatever these are called, they're finished. So that is it, I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, because uh, the next thing to do is assemble this axle. It's quite a task, assembling the axle. So I'm going to probably do a whole video on that. Uh, there's lots, yeah, there's lots to do. So I'm going to call it a day there, folks. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I really hope you're still watching and I hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one for assembling the axle. <laughs>